I like how my last video was literally about how much YouTube guidelines suck. Then I take a two week break and the first video I make once I'm back is about how YouTube has actually somewhat fixed their guidelines. Whack. Regardless, in a creator blog post posted earlier today, YouTube updated their new strike system to make everything a bit more clear and to hopefully fix the problems <coughs> Monkey Jones that there's been with the striking and terminations lately. Now they put out a video that explains it all pretty well. I'll put a clip of it here. We're updating the way we give community guideline strikes to a new, simpler system. We've worked alongside creators to understand what's working and what's not. You told us that clear policies, consistent enforcement, and transparency about what's happening to your channel are the most important things we can improve to make the strike system work better for you. So we're doing just that. Now the video goes on to explain more what they're doing to help fix the problem. They added further details in the actual blog, which I'll read some excerpts from here. We want to give you even more opportunities to learn about our policies. So starting February 25th, all channels will receive a one-time warning the first time they post content that crosses the line, with no penalties to the channel except for the removal of the content. This is to make sure everyone takes the time to learn about our community guidelines and then can quickly get back to creating great content and engaging with their audience in a way that complies with our rules. Now basically what they're doing is instead of just a three strike system and then you're terminated, they're now adding a kind of fourth strike. It's just a warning to tell you, yeah, don't make a video called Will Smith says the n-word. Then it will go on the normal three strikes you're out. I do question though, will you only ever get this warning once? Because it says, all channels receive a one-time warning the first time they post content that crosses the line. Does that mean if I upload a video that goes against the guideline, I'll get the warning, then the three strike system, which all goes away after 90 days. Then after 90 days, when everything is reset back to normal, if I upload another video that breaks the guidelines, Will it just immediately go back to the old three strike system? Do I not get a, a warning on the second 90 day period? As for whether or not I think this will actually help, I definitely hope it helps. Although there is a big chance it won't. Lately there's been what I call the Monkey Jones effect. It's affected a lot more people other than just Monkey Jones, but he's the biggest example of this. Basically if YouTube decides we don't want you on our platform or you're too edgy, then they just give you three strikes all at once in the middle of the night and don't give you a chance to take down the type of content they don't want. This happened to Monkey Jones and a couple of other people where at like 4am they got one strike, then an hour later they got another strike, then a little while later before they got a chance to fix anything, they get a third and final strike just destroying their channel. Adding what's essentially just a fourth strike that doesn't immediately punish you, I'm not quite sure if that's going to fix the problem. I just kind of see YouTube giving you a warning strike at 3am, then the first strike at 4am, and so on and so forth until your channel is gone by the time you wake up. Guess the early bird really does get the worm an impossible increased risk for diabetes and heart disease. Really what they should implement is a system where there has to be a 12 hour period between strikes so the creator can have a time to fix everything. Especially with so many false strikes lately, getting a strike is a very big deal and having a 12 hour period between strikes would be very reassuring for us creators. I would be a very happy camper if YouTube added something like this. Still though, good job YouTube. The second change they outlined was the punishment for the three strikes. Previously, not all strikes had the same penalty on your channel. For example, first strikes on a video would trigger a 90 day freeze on live streaming, and a second strike would result in a two week freeze on new video uploads. We heard from many of you that this was confusing, the penalty didn't match the source of the strike. Now, based on your feedback, all community guideline strikes will have the same penalty. The first strike will result in a one week freeze on the ability to upload any new content to YouTube, including live streaming and other channel activities. Strikes will expire after 90 days. The second strike in any 90 day period will result in a two week freeze on the ability to upload any new content to YouTube. The third strike in any 90 day period will result in channel termination. Now I've always thought the strike system was kind of weird and confusing, granted YouTube is the home for weird and confusing. Hey! <whistles> Thanks a lot Spongebob, while you were just standing there whistling someone threw a snowball at me! Oh really Patrick? <laughs> Did the snowball look like this? Yeah. Although getting the first strike be a ban on live streaming, when it wasn't even a live streaming related issue, was always weird. I do think the new system makes a lot more sense. I would prefer though, 
that it actually be related to what you did? Perhaps if you mess up on a live stream, then you get one live stream strike and you can't stream for a week. Strike two is two weeks, then strike three, your channel is terminated. Same goes for things like stories to the two people that use stories, creator posts, actual new uploads, etc. But either way, I am pretty satisfied with this new system and I can't complain too much. Good job, YouTube. The third and final big change they announced was just overall being more clear with why you were striked. Finally, we always want to make it clear why a strike occurred, what it means for your channel, and the next steps that are available, including appealing the decision in case you think it was a mistake. To that end, we're making our email and desktop notifications clearer, and they will provide more details on which policy was violated. We're also adding new mobile and in-product notifications to make sure you have all the important information about a strike available at a glance. This is the thing I'm most excited for but also the thing I'm most hesitant about actually happening. For a long time, if you got a strike, it would be very confusing as to why, with often little to no reason given. The perfect case of this can be seen with Rusty Cage, a YouTuber famous for his knife game videos. For years, YouTube was fine with these, but then a couple of them started getting taken down, and even the playlist for them got taken down. Yeah, apparently YouTube cares about playlists now. Due to the little to no reasons given, Rusty had to figure out whether or not it was still safe to keep the videos up, and just one more strike and his 1 million plus subscriber channel would be gone. Did YouTube not want this content at all? If not, then why are they fine with sword swallowers and other dangerous stunts done by professionals? Were these certain videos taken down because they showed minors performing the dangerous acts? Meaning the rest are fine? Everything was so vague no one knew for sure, and when someone's livelihood is at stake with this, you need to be as clear as possible. Now if YouTube actually goes through with this, and is more clear with the strikes, I will be a very happy camper. Now I'm talking about paragraphs about what was wrong with the video, timestamps and everything. If one of my videos gets taken down, I want to know every little minor reason. Unfortunately, and this might be cynical of me to say, I'm not quite sure if this is actually going to happen. Whereas with the others, it's a change we can all immediately see put into effect. This is something more behind the scenes, which unless you yourself get a strike, you may not know whether or not they actually implement this. I can easily see YouTube not doing this and never being called out for lying. I really hope that's not the case, although it definitely could be. Ultimately though, I am very glad YouTube is taking strides to fix things. Like I mentioned in my New Year's resolutions for YouTube video, which is still at like 20 views, I want them to be more clear and I want them to communicate more. And that's what they're doing. Susan Waluigi recently commented on a PewDiePie video, the first time in possibly over a year she's actually acknowledged his existence. And with changes like this, I'm very happy and have to say, and it feels weird to say this after so long of YouTube just being plain out terrible, good job YouTube. This doesn't mean YouTube is all of a sudden amazing now, this just is one step towards fixing YouTube. Although if they keep doing things like this, 2019 might actually be a very good year for YouTube. So yeah. Good job, YouTube. Please monetize me. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I tried something a bit different for this video and actually scripted it out instead of just winging it like I normally do. I hope that makes the quality better and not worse. I will be experimenting with more things like that to try and improve my content lately. I also tried to make the audio levels better. I'm still trying to get that right. It really is just a lot of trial and error. Overall, though, thanks for watching and bye.